Welcome to Buhay Beats episode 24, uh, different pro-life information that will keep your hearts beating for the cause of life. And we've talked about the five death bills or the bills that really promote the anti-life cause. So divorce, euthanasia, abortion, total population control, and same-sex marriage. And we can see that happening here already in the Philippines. There are moves for divorce, like I said yesterday, uh, not necessarily euthanasia, but you can say it's a position for the death penalty uh, abortion we've been talking about decriminal decriminalization of abortion total population control or the reproductive health bill which was passed now a law and same-sex marriage same-sex civil union now we've also been talking about uh, when you endorse don't make a blanket endorsement uh, you should talk about the different issues and uh, make your voice heard and if you endorse someone and you make your voice heard that you have certain reservations about that candidate, then that's even better so that people will know that you, you these are the things that you stand for. And it's not just like, oh, I'm going to vote for him, I'm going to vote for her. But I'm voting for him, I'm voting for her. But I hope we can talk or discuss these issues because they are important to me. I think uh, that's where people should be leading towards now, not just blanket I support you 100% anything you say uh, because uh, we will never find someone who we will support 100% of course we're all different so it's always good to make your voice heard that's why you have a voice that's why you have a vote now um, when you talk about you have reservations that means you need to know what the issues are so what are the issues regarding to these five things so divorce euthanasia or death penalty abortion uh, total population control or the reproductive health, um, same-sex marriage. And we've done some research on the president and vice president candidates. Uh, we call it, it's a document called uh, the Lens of Faith, Family, and Life because that's what uh, we as Catholics, as pro-lifers are very interested in. I mean, everybody has their programs for poverty reduction, for the economy, for health, uh, but these issues are what's important to us. Um, so that's why we did some research on their stance on these different issues. And the document is called The Lens of Faith, Family, and Life. So you can see there who is pro-divorce, pro who voted for the RH bill, who is for the SOGI bill, and who is open to it, and what their stance are on that. So if you're interested in that, I will put it uh, put the link in the comments so that you can go through it and make an informed decision. And in spite of all the things that you see there, if you choose someone with pro-life issues, I hope that when you endorse him or her, you will make your reservations known because that's what our stand is all about. That is what our voices are here for, to be heard. Uh, we put the light on a lampstand, we don't hide it, and we tell the world that we're pro-life and what we stand for. So take a look at the document, pray, discern, decide, and then make your voices heard as well. So thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we'll see everything, see the different candidates through the lens of faith, family, and life. God bless.